In this video, we're going to talk about the, the routes file and the folder named public. Start up your WAMP server if you haven't already and open your favorite text editor. I'm going to open up Tunnel Studio. This is an IDE actually, it's not a text editor. And uh, let's go to our to our www folder and let's um, cd to blog and let's um, start up our web server which is rails server it's going to start up webrick okay this is, this is going to start up and um, let's go over to the blog here let's open up our firefox and type in localhost port 3000 Okay, so we see our web welcome page here, and what I wanted to say is this page here actually comes from, from this page here called public, and then index.html. If you remember correctly from index, from a web design or, you know, introductory to HTML, that index is a special word. So it's the same as if I type in localhost here, it's the same as if I were to say localhost slash index dot html so this is the same thing we just take it off so it looks a little nicer so basically it tells us here to remove this file and then set up a default route so let's do that right now so let's remove this file here and press ok so let's uh, let's refresh here and we're expecting an error right we just deleted this page here so let's let's refresh and we get a routing error. If you don't get a routing error, then refresh a couple of times because your page is getting cached. So we're getting a routing error because if we go to config slash routes, if you remember correctly, this page this um this page here is, is the rules that are gonna determine how Rails is gonna parse the URL. So they're basically rules, and we only have one rule. Actually, we have two. This one gets generated. A rule always gets generated when you generate a controller. It automatically gets added to this file here. But we actually only have one rule. Um, it was just called match here, controller, action, ID. And this one actually here is the default one. The, the rules that we're going to set up in routes come by order of highest priority so if the first that we create are the highest priority so this guy here has higher priority than this one if rails finds that there's a, a rule here is going to take that rule and ignore the rest so the problem is that since we have this rule here this is the only rule we have when we type in localhost 3000 you know there's no controller there there's no controller there no, there's no action there so we need another way to determine what's our home page and actually by default there's already a a, a line here that says root to welcome that uh, pounds index so let's just take that off of here remove the the hash symbol and now we have this rule here saying that the root which is going to be our home page is going to be the controller welcome this hash here is um, just a separator and then the the view so this here is going to be our our, our um, home page so we don't have that right now if you if you look over here in apps controllers well actually I do but I created that one before so let me just delete it you're not gonna have it in there uh, so let's just create it right now let's let's generate a new controller uh, named welcome slash index Okay, and we should be able to, to by this rule, make it our default home page. So let's just go here and say Rails, generate controller, and welcome, followed by the view, which is going to be index. Okay, so let's just wait a little while, and it's going to generate a controller. It also generates other um, assets. It generates the welcome slash SCSS. Actually, this one is from the Compass framework. If, if you go to a Compass, just type in in Google Compass CSS and you'll find information about it. And it also generates a coffee script file. Uh, well, that's something else. So let's go back to our controller here. It generated our welcome controller. 
uh, let's just render the, the view here so let's just say render and let's just type in index even though it's by default let's just make it explicit here and if we go to views and we go to welcome index here and by the way we're not going to be using this one here after a while we're going to be using something called hammer so you know you can look into it but I'm going to go into a little detail later on so let's just change this a little bit here um, let's just say something like welcome to our home page okay and let's save it here so based on this rule here now we should be getting our controller welcome and our action index so we should be getting our home page now so let's hit enter and there we have it we have our home page so that's how you would set up your home page now we have another rule here um, these are basically okay so notice remember it, it got generated a a new rule once we generate the controller so let's just erase it hit save and let's um, actually mess around with the the rest of the the route f um, the rules so let's go with the the simple the regular route so let's just copy this here actually just um, let's just take the comment off and this one here actually it's going to parse whatever the URL says and render whatever controller you want it okay so I could say here this is the URL right and it doesn't have to be controller slash action it could be you know like right here it says ID but I'm just gonna do the controller slash action because it's gonna be easier so I'm going to render here um, let's see let me do example so we have an example controller here right so example slash index to example index All right so this rule is not gonna matter much because we already have this rule here but let's just see what happens so example slash index and as expected we get you know the example controller and then the 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 view index so what what we're going to do now is we're going to mess around with it a little bit we're going to set up a rule so when people type in something else here it'll just go to this view so it doesn't matter if they wanted to go somewhere else so let's just say if they type in the url turkey slash um sandwich okay is that how you type sandwich no I don't think so well it doesn't matter actually I think I do know sandwich so whenever they type this in here it's just gonna take them directly to this um, to this controller and then this view here regardless if they wanted to go regard um, they wanted to go there or not so let's just save this I'm just gonna copy this here actually and paste it notice that we don't have a turkey controller here so let's just hit enter and as expected we also get the same one here now let's let's go back to the other one which is example and then index okay so we're getting the same one so why is this I mean we we clearly set up a rule and we don't have it anymore well the reason for that is because it's falling back on this one here remember if there's no rule here if it doesn't find a specific rule here then it's just gonna fall back to the controller action ID since there's no rule for example slash index well it's just gonna fall back to controller and then the the action which we do have one already so it says example and then it's gonna go to to the index so that's just something to bear in mind so actually just by this alone here we have two pages that go directly here which is obviously bad for SEO purposes but you know for our purposes it's good so if I go back here it's the same page here so that's you know that's just three basic rules for now there's obviously a lot more as you can see here and you can look through them and uh, I'll try to you know do more more routes later on one thing that you gotta notice is that you don't have to type in the controller slash you know the the action it could be anything else here it could be 
like it says here it could be the ID you know think of this kind of like a variable even though it, you know it really is not but it, it works the same way so that's that's all for now in the next video we're probably gonna go into databases and um, no actually we're gonna go over how to render the view how to render stuff from the controller to the view okay so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe